can you walk us through the Rams' last scoring drive? What happened on defense? Uh, they just shoot up some clock, went fast, went hurry up, and scored a touchdown. Did you guys feel like, as a defense, what did you think about the entire game, the way you guys were able to hold them for for majority of the game? I felt like we played well. Um, you know, we got some unlucky calls there at the end, but you know, we got to play better. We got to we went in that drive with the lead and we lost. Uh, DJ, do you think uh, after Beckham Bob left Miller, the game, do you guys on defense think about blitzing more, maybe coming with blitzes and things of that nature in the nah, second half? I think half? our plan was good. We trusted our plan. Will we give up two. seven points in the second half? Yeah, that's it. I mean, we trusted our plan. I don't know if that would change anything we did in the second half. I mean, we gave up seven points. I felt like we did a good job. I uh, had two turnovers today. I felt like we did a good job. Were the Rams what they were on film to you, to you uh, in the game? Did they surprise you with anything? No. DJ, what is a what is a run like this maybe do for the long term confidence or what you're all trying to build? Uh, you know, we don't celebrate moral victories, but you know we're glad we're out here. A bunch of guys on this team have won championships and want to win, so I think this just gives us fuel to go back next year and get back to the drawing board. Uh, team will be different, guys will be different, but it'll be the same goal. DJ, did this kind of feel like? All these playoff games you've been playing up until the end, because it seemed like it was just your type of game. It was close. It was just going to be one big play. It was going to empty. Did it kind of feel like that, where it's almost really stunning when it doesn't go the way because you guys have been so good in those spots? Uh, yeah, like we like to play the game muddy, and um, hats off to them. They ended up winning. They got out of the mud. How tough? I mean, you're down on the goal line. You're probably thinking, here we go. Here's here's our spot. What what was like that sequence like for you for you guys down there? Uh, you just had your back against the wall. Two tough calls. Give them first down again. Right at the goal line. It just is what it is. You know, it's, it is what it is. I mean, Joe, Joe took a lot of hits throughout the year. What, what was it like for y'all to kind of see him kind of continue to battle through all that stuff? And is he a guy that that ever seemed like he was upset with the way things were going or, or the contact he was getting? Joe Burrow's a warrior. He's the toughest guy I know. Um, he takes hits. You know, I, of course I want to keep him upright, but you know he's the toughest player person I've ever met in my life. He doesn't complain, he doesn't say anything, he just gets up time after time after time after time after time again. And it is what it is, he's a ball player. Um, you don't meet very many people like that. He's definitely a generational player, he's going to be special. Coming over from the Texans, did you expect this year to be like this, coming over during free agency? Yeah. You know, when you change teams, you don't know what to expect? Or? Yeah, I had confidence in the guys around me. They had good pieces around, and you know, I think, I think we did our thing. We did what we were supposed to do. Uh, wish the outcome of that game would have been different. We would have won, but you know, we went out there and did our thing. Overall, overall, do you consider this a, a successful season for you and, the, and your teammates? I mean, yeah, it was good to get around. We had a good season, um, but no, we want to end with a championship. Um, I think all the guys feel that way. Um, that's the mood in our locker room, what I saw in our locker room, all the guys feel that way. So, you know, I think it had a successful season. Yeah, there's definitely things we can build off of, but, you know, we always want to be able to championship. DJ, what did Joe say to you guys in the locker room after the race? Uh, no, he didn't say anything. Nobody said anything. You don't take losses like that and people just come around and want to talk. <laughs> well, we, we appreciate you coming and talking, though. Yeah. yeah. Thank, Thank you. you.